All right, so we picked up another one of these Nylites. It's the same kind that we've been using on the other vehicles. We put one on the uh, truck, Craig's truck, and we put one on my Jeep. And, uh, I mean, they're super easy to install and cheap. So we're going to put one on the uh, four-wheeler here so we can have a little bit more light since it's going to start getting dark in the evenings. Yep, so if anybody has been watching the uh, Project Grizzly, which we'll drop a link in the comments to uh, part one and part two, where we got this old Grizzly 660 uh, Yamaha from my brother when we were down in the States. It wasn't running, so we got it up and running. Uh, we fixed wheel bearings on it, and only one headlight is working, and it's there's something goofy with the wiring. So they're not great anyway. So get pick up one of these aftermarket off-road lights. So I think we're going to try to put it somewhere in here. Our oh. bumper is so bent on this thing. But uh, we're gonna put it, we'll figure out somewhere, somewhere to put it on here. But this, that way we actually have usable light. Because I'm gonna try to get another plow if we can. I have something maybe in the works to get a, a used plow that we can put on this one. That way we have two things to plow with. So we gotta figure out how all this stuff connects. It's got some different brackets. Next, after this, you know, the bigger stuff on the Project Grizzly is going to be tires. We're going to do some tires on this thing. All right. So let me get the seat off here. Good, good old speed on. Okay. Comes with all the wiring all the mounts, everything that you need. So these are very inexpensive and they work really well. That's pretty straightforward too. You just put your leads on your battery, route the uh, cables up through the plastic somewhere. It's got a little on off switch on this one. Just a little rocker switch. Uh, it might be well. too big. I don't know. We're gonna try to, yeah, it's a little bit big, unfortunately. Hmm. I need like a big washer or something. Yeah. It had something else there, I don't know what. No, well, you always drill another one below it. Yeah, you have to drill more holes. I know. Plastics. Comes with a lot, which is good. Because you need to, who knows how long you're going to be running something. So you can see there's a lot of wiring with this thing. Figure out how to route this all up. Find you a big, big washer to yeah, put behind it. Yeah, that piece of something they had. Whatever switch they had in it was just quite a bit bigger than this one. But I'd yeah. hate to drill more uh, holes, so I think that's what we're going to try to do is try to do it that way. All right, so let's see. Hmm. Could mount maybe zip tie. I have to get my zip ties. Some things. Once I figure out where to run this, so I have to get my zip ties, and we can kind of hook it on here and wrap it around this breather tube and run it up through there. Uh, I don't know what those are? Uh, I came with a whole bunch of different mounting hardware. Just uh, I think yeah. for just different things. Those. Yeah, so you can kind of adjust it, I guess, huh? What, how do these hook? Oh, I don't know. I have to maybe look at the direction. Oh, here. There's something to do with this. Yeah, I guess I got two of the wrong pieces, probably. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I did. So it'd be like that. Yeah. All right, so we got one of those, one of those. That. Nope. Yeah, so, so maybe one of those. Alright, so we got our smaller little rubber grommets to go in between here, so I'll see how this works. 
This came with a little, come with Allen wrench to come here. All right, so. This is gonna be difficult though to oh, yeah. screw these in. I can get them started oh, yeah. and then rotate them. I don't know how easy that's gonna be either though. I can't really get them in too far. Too tight. I have these a little bit loose too so that I can. Alright, so. Night light. And just stick that in there and crunch it down on there. Okay, so. I guess. This gets two bolts in it. Good, hold it good. Yeah, so that, I guess those can just be right where they're at. That can be tightened down. Yeah. Let me get back and look at that. You want me to hold it there or just want me to let go? You just let go of it. I guess it stays. Yeah, the bumper is so bent on that thing, it's ridiculous. If you look at it from here, the whole bumper's, it's hit something and the bumper's pushed up yeah. back a little bit. Look at Tess. She's dug herself a hole so she could be in the chilled ground. It's a hole, I don't know, 55 degrees out maybe. Look at you, Tess. What a mess. What are you doing? Oh, goodness. <laughs> Gene Kaiser. Yeah. Oh, Tess. No. Yeah, she did, so she could be in the cool ground. I know. Tess, hush. You're too loud. All right, so we got these here tightened all down. I'm going to try to get this here straight and, like I said, kind of compensate for <laughs> the yeah. fact that the bumper's crooked. Yeah, I think this one here can, yeah, it can be get tightened, tightened down. down itself. I'm just going to hold this one up. because, And we just have to adjust the other side. Yeah, as much as possible. Hopefully these are screwing enough. Yeah, I think right about there, I think. No, I think it's probably going to be okay. We won't know until you actually try it, but I mean, it's obviously crooked. Bumper, because, so, I mean, it doesn't yeah. really matter so much. I mean, the, no. the bumper's just bent. So. What's happening here? There's a dog. For some reason, these guys like to weave in and out of your legs. Tess started on that when she was little, and these guys here just followed what she did. Yeah. All right, Hans, it back. Okay. things here I'm not sure now. I don't know. There we go. Donkey stockies everywhere. Alright, so let's see. Yo, yeah, blinded me. Ugh. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yep, it sure is. So we got one headlight. Yeah, one headlight. <laughs> well, this definitely makes up for it, and then some. All right, so we're good there. So. Yeah. It's pretty straightforward. The truck's got one on it over here. And if you look at, I think it was two videos ago, we put this one here on mine. Um, they make a huge, huge difference. Alright, 
right, so we ran the wires down through here, zip tied them behind this, and they come out here and are all neatly tucked down in there. We'll have to do a little bit of work on this. But... Yeah, I gotta figure out something. I don't know what I can do there. Yeah. To make that. All right, so we got our nightlight all wired up. It's working good. All I gotta do is finish installing my switch, and that's gonna be the end of it. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Like, subscribe. Here's what we got now. So, turn that off. I'll flip on the aftermarket light we just put on. Wow. That is a <laughs> massive difference. Like, it lights up that entire tree plus the. Yeah. Wood. So, I'd say that was a. Uh, wow. A nice addition to the Grizzly. Yeah.